Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Stata Tech. Today we're going to talk about updating the software on your Apple TV so you can get access to the new features that are available here in late 2019, as well as Apple Arcade. Now, I had to manually update the software on my Apple TV. Normally, software updates would just typically roll out and I would get them within a couple days of them being released, but I had to manually do it. And I've noticed that other people have had the issue as well because I started playing Apple Arcade games on our Apple TV with my kids, posting photos of them to social media, and people were saying, hey, I don't have that available on my Apple TV yet. What did you have to do? So I wanted to talk in this video about running that software update, how you do it manually, and then also uh, just talk about a couple of the little features that are new to this version. So Apple Arcade is probably the biggest reason to update because we all get a month free of Apple Arcade uh, if we update our iOS devices to iOS 13. Or if you go out and buy a new iPhone or iPad, you're going to get a free month of Apple Arcade. And Apple Arcade's a lot of fun. I'm actually talking about my favorite games on the Apple Arcade in another video, so you want to make sure to check that out. So I had to manually go and update the software on our Apple TV, and I'm going to talk about how you do that right now, and then we're going to talk about a couple of the new features that are unique and interesting in the Apple TV. So to update the software, you're going to have to go into the Settings app, swipe down to the Systems tab, and then over to Software Update. And then under Software Update, you're going to have to manually run that software update, and depending on your internet connection, it could take a little bit of time. Now it did estimate it would take over an hour for my software to update. It ended up taking a total of about 15 minutes, which my kids were happy about because I was telling them how cool Apple Arcade is and how I wanted to show it to them, yet we still had to run that software update. So depending on your internet connection, this can take a little bit of time. Your Apple TV is then going to power cycle, it's going to go through the installation process, and then when you're done, your Apple TV is going to be ready to go. Now I did notice that I needed to power cycle my Apple TV one more time, which means turning it off completely and turning it back on in order for it to not act kind of weird. It was acting really laggy and it, swipe gestures were way off. And once I turned the power off to the Apple TV and then turned it back on, I had a better overall experience. So if you run your software update and your Apple TV seems a little bit weird, just do a power cycle on your Apple TV which means completely powering it off and then powering it back on again. So once this software update was complete, I noticed that it was complete because Apple Arcade was there. There was also a little bit of a difference to the user interface just with the shapes and styles of things. But there's also a unique menu that you can access over to the side by tapping and holding on the screen icon on your remote. Typically you would tap and hold on your screen icon to go ahead and put your Apple TV and its connected television into sleep mode. Now it gives you access to a menu on the side where you can switch between different users. This is awesome because I would be logged into my Apple TV, yet my kids would be playing all the games, and then when I'd go to play a game, it wasn't where it was where I left off. You know, on something like our uh, Nintendo Switch, we can choose between profiles, or maybe if you've ever used Netflix, you have different profiles on Netflix so that Netflix has your TV shows and movies where you had them before and your kids and your spouse and, and everybody else's is all separate. And now the Apple TV allows for that as well. So in order to add accounts for your kids, you're going to have to go onto your iPhone and set up accounts for your children. And I'll talk about how to do that in another video. Everybody will get access to Apple Arcade. Everybody will get access to the new Apple TV Plus when it comes out, which are those new shows that Apple is producing. And uh, so you can share all of that stuff. Of course, family sharing right now also works for uh, Apple Music accounts too, so long as you have the family sharing level of account with Apple Music. So this is great because things like YouTube, when you are logged into YouTube and viewing YouTube videos on your Apple TV, and then your kids go and view YouTube videos on the Apple TV, now you can have their account logged in so that they're seeing recommended videos for them and they're not seeing recommended videos for you. Your play history and all that stuff isn't getting all messed up. And so a lot of really neat things came to the Apple TV this time around. And I may actually do a video where I talk about all 
all of these things because the Apple TV really did leap uh, huge with this software update with its usability and its features. So I hope that this video helped you out. If you didn't understand why you weren't getting that Apple Arcade, it's probably due to the software update that you still needed to run. If you're interested, make sure to stay subscribed or subscribe to State of Tech here so you can see my five favorite Apple Arcade games and other videos that I'll put out on our different smart devices over time as well. That's what we do. We talk about that here on State of Tech, and I'd love to have you around. So if this video helped, click that thumbs up, and I hope to see you back in the next one. Take care.